In this video clip, I'm gonna show you how to update the old Garmin uh, 530 and 430 um, uh, GPS database receivers. Uh, we have an old Garmin uh, 530 that's been updated to accommodate the WAS or the, has the, the LPV approaches. Um, and so there's a few tools that you'll need. Um, this one is basically made by Jeppesen. Uh, it's the Skybound. It's basically a, a, a USB to the card that goes into your uh, GPS uh, panel mount receiver. So you'll want this, that'll plug into, you know, in my case, I have a, a Mac. And so of course, Mac is not compatible with anything. So I'll convert that from a USB into the uh, USB-C or the lightning port, not the lightning port, but the USB-C that'll go into the uh, Mac right here. Um, now I'm not going to plug that in because right now I don't have the card. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Jeppesen app. It's called JDM app. So you want to download that to your computer. And I'm going to show you how to open that. We're going to download to the computer. And then once we get on the computer, because I'm not going to have a Wi-Fi signal actually at the airport. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it to the computer. Then I'm going to use this to plug in and actually program it at the airport. And I'll show you that. So on here, you're going to look for the, uh, the JDM app. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up here for you. And you can kind of watch as we uh, go through it here. Of course, I've got too many things running at once. So it'll take just a minute here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I think there is an update on the software that I don't have yet, so I'm going to actually just ignore that. And you can see here that you've got, um, now I haven't been out to the airplane in a while, but we have something that's uh, 22 April to 20th of May. And then there's another one that comes out on the 20th of May. So in this case, I, I'm gonna download the uh, the current one. And you can click here, you can see that I've got download only or transfer to device. Now, if you actually are using like an internet connection, you can go directly to transfer your device. And over here, you see it's got the two options. Your actual Garmin card that I'll show you at the airplane will show up there. But in this case, because I'm at home, I'm just gonna click the, uh, the uh, download only button here. And what you're going to find is it's actually a really quick download. It's 7.63 megabytes for the download. Now, the programming is going to take a few minutes. So now that it's downloaded, I mean, that took just a few seconds. We're going to head out to the airport, and I'll show you how to actually uh, program the actual device. All right, so we're out in the hangar here. It's really dark, so I've got a flashlight on, so hopefully you can see me all right. But uh, I'm going to show you first here how to pull the card out. So uh, here's the uh, GNS 530, the Garmin 530. Um, uh, this is uh, an older unit. The um, the GTN series has replaced these, so they're a lot nicer and touchscreen and fancier and just do a lot more things. But um, these older ones, you're going to see this 530 outline. The Garmin 430 is going to be very similar. But on the left side here, this is the actual database card. This is just a blank or a storage card. So we're going to, you can see this little lever here. You just take your finger and just kind of slide your fingernail across, and that'll pull this little... Uh, tab out and then just be careful you don't rip the tab off but just kind of grip it firmly and then you'll pull it straight out and that's the actual card that we're going to use in the unit to uh to update all right so we've got the uh the actual uh garmin card out of there um if you have some of the newer gps's uh there is an opportunity to use the an actual garmin database but this is all subscriptions through uh jeppesen so again you're gonna need the uh, jeppesen jdm app and then the uh the jeppesen card here and that's what comes in this little box here the jeppesen skybound uh that converts it again to usb from your card reader so i've taken the card reader out i showed you how to do that so now we're going to stick that in and again, you want to kind of be careful you don't break it, but you'll push it in just until you feel a firm pop and that goes in. And then I'm going to stick this in again. I had to convert it to USB-C for uh, the Mac computer. And then once again, I'm going to open the JDM app and we'll log in there. And I'll show you that here in one second. Uh, if you want to look over here, you can see that this lights up once it gets power, just to show that you're in. Okay, so then it says unable to connect to server. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually work offline. We'll click okay. And you can see here that this is what we downloaded. There isn't the other option because I don't have an internet connection right now. So over here on this right side, I'm just gonna click on the transfer to device. And it says, okay, hey, I've got the Skybound G2, 16 megabyte WAS silver label. Just click on continue. 
And it's going to go through a whole bunch of series here. So the first thing it's going to do is erase the card. It's going to pro uh, put the uh, the new, you know, remember that small file on there. It's going to program the card. Now, one thing I'll warn you is, um, go back here. One thing I will warn you is that if you come out to the airplane to do these updates, the, f the first time you do it, you think, God, oh, this will only take like, you know, a few minutes. Well, the actual writing of the card takes around 15 to 20 minutes. So, uh, Make sure you give yourself extra time to pre-flight. So I came out here today. There's a trip in a couple days in the plane. So we're going to program the card, get the uh, nav databases updated, and then we're going to go ahead and do a walk around. We'll show you a quick update once it's done. All right, so over here we can see that uh, it says the Garmin GNS4500 series WASP nav data was successfully transferred. There's no connection to the internet, so it's pretty much all done. And you'll notice here, I didn't show you, but this thing starts flashing the entire time that it's writing to the card. So once it stops flashing, you know that it's done. And we can go ahead and remove this from the computer, and we'll take it up front, and I'll insert it and just verify that it updated. Okay, so we'll take the card again, make sure that the, uh, the signage is up, and we'll just stick it right in there. And I always push on the right side because there's no hinge there. I just push on the right side and push it in. Now, at that point, you're actually done. But if you're like most people, you want to just take a second. And I always like to double check to make sure that it actually updated and I don't have an error because the next time I come out, I'm probably not going to have my computer and equipment with me so that if there's a problem, I won't see it. So I'm going to turn the avionics master switch on here. And we'll just give it a second to uh, fire up and it'll show us the effective date of the database. And as long as it's effective, and the update worked, then we'll just turn it off. Certainly don't want to drain your batteries too much and do it too often, but once in a while isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, so I'll just come on here. Now, I do not update any uh, some of the other databases. You can see the obstacle database expired. Uh, looks like 10 years ago. Uh, but the aviation database expires 20 May of 2021. So that's good. We've got a good update. I'll go ahead and shut that off. Shut the battery master back off. And we're good to go fly on our next trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I really appreciate uh, if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.